the wildfire burning in Amador and Calaveras counties continues to grow even larger. The Butte fire has now burned 4,000 acres, and originally they said it was 30% contained, but they have lost some containment. It's now only 20% contained. And because of it, multiple schools have canceled class today. Thousands still without power this morning. KCRA 3's Brian Hickey has been live on the fire line all morning, giving us the latest updates. Brian, what do you got for us right now? And we continue to watch the fire make its way up the McCollumy River drainage here. That's the area behind me. Very steep terrain where fire crews have spent the night battling this fire that doubled in size, now being called uh, 4,000 acres and 20% containment, where they once had 30% containment. The overnight run of this fire uh, is why the reason that they've backed off on the containment line now as the fire has continued to grow, especially in the southerly direction down toward McCollumy Hill and areas east of there, where we saw very active fire overnight. Now, here this morning, you can continue to see where that fire is burning even to the south. For those of you that know the area, right now we are off of Amador Lane, right above the Electra Power Plant, and uh, looking down on the McCollumy River Canyon. And you can see off to the south how far the fires progressed into Calaveras County on the south side of the McCollumy River. We're told about 17,000 people are without power. PGE said it will be at least until tonight, if not later, before that power is restored. We have talked to some residents up here that are telling us how they've lost uh, everything in the refrigerators. A lot of them are on wells up here, so they no longer have water service. Those with livestock are uh, going to nearby reservoirs, trying to find water for their horses. And uh, that's just one of the inconveniences they're dealing with up here this morning, as they all fear what this fire will do next. The temperature is expected to go well above the triple digit again. They got very little recovery last night in humidity, and that's why the fire continued to burn so actively. Very warm out here last night. And again, with the hot temperatures again, they are bracing for the worst on this fire because they saw what it did overnight. Now they know by the heat of day today, it will make some more significant runs on them, and that's why they're bringing in more firefighters and more aircraft to come in here and help them with this difficult terrain. Steep canyons, as we uh, know over the years, fire is driven by terrain, it's driven by weather, and of course the very dry fuels. Four years of drought now have taken on the, uh, the toll it's taken on the vegetation up here. So that is the very latest on the Butte fire. Evacuation orders continue to expand. We are hearing of some evacuations in the McCollumy Hill area. I don't have specifics on those evacuations yet, but we are working to get those for you so that we can pass that along. The evacuation centers have been set up, and uh, at this point the fire camp is now being set up at Amador County Fairgrounds. That'll be the new command post for this fire. The crews say, uh, again, uh, poses a very real hazard to the residents and them as they continue the fight here in Abador and now Calaveras County. Live on the Butte Fire, Brian Hickey, KCRA 3 News.